Welcome back to the Celebrity Chronicles. Today, we have breaking news that has sent shockwaves through the entertainment world. Taylor Swift's father, Scott Swift, finds himself at the center of a paparazzi storm in Australia. Let's dive into the details and uncover the truth behind this intriguing tale. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, and today we're delving into the headlines that have been dominating the tabloids. Our story begins in the picturesque city of Sydney, Australia, where Taylor Swift was enjoying some well-deserved downtime during her world tour. It was supposed to be a peaceful vacation for Taylor and her family, but things took an unexpected expected turn when they found themselves hounded by relentless paparazzi. The paparazzi frenzy escalated to alarming levels, causing discomfort and concern for the Swift family. Reports suggest that Scott Swift, Taylor's father, took matters into his own hands to protect his daughter and maintain their privacy. While the actions of Scott Swift were undeniably motivated by a desire to shield his family from the invasive paparazzi, it is essential to evaluate the legal implications of his actions. Australian law has specific provisions regarding privacy and the boundaries of public figures. So, what do these provisions entail, and will Scott Swift face any charges? Well, it's important to note that the Australian legal system acknowledges the right to privacy. However, in cases involving public figures, the line between public and private becomes blurred. While it's unfortunate that the Swift family's privacy was violated, it might be challenging to establish legal grounds for charges against Mr. Swift. Fascinating. Let's hear from our on-ground correspondent, who has been following this story closely. Over to you Lisa. Thank you host. I'm standing outside the courthouse where Scott Swift's case was being evaluated. After a thorough investigation, the authorities have decided not to press charges against him. The decision was based on several factors, including the absence of evidence proving intentional harm or excessive force during the encounter with the paparazzi. The authorities took into account the challenging circumstances faced by the Swift family. Scott Swift's actions, although forceful, were seen as a protective measure, rather than an act of aggression. I was there when it all happened. The paparazzi were relentless, and Scott Swift simply stepped up to shield his daughter. It was evident that he had no intention of causing harm. It seems that public sentiment played a significant role in the outcome of this case. The public rallied behind Scott Swift, recognizing his intentions and the excessive intrusion faced by the family. Social media platforms were flooded with messages of support. Number Protect the Swift began trending worldwide, with fans and celebrities alike advocating for privacy rights and the protection of public figures from aggressive paparazzi tactics. And that brings us to the present moment. Scott Swift, cleared of all charges, is now focusing on raising awareness about the impact of paparazzi intrusion. My family and I are incredibly grateful for the overwhelming support we've received during this challenging time. We hope that our experience sparks a broader conversation about the importance of respecting boundaries and protecting the well-being of public figures. A powerful message indeed. It's heartening to see Scott Swift transform a personal ordeal into a platform for change. We'll be right back after a short break with more on this captivating story. Welcome back, folks. We've just scratched the surface of the Taylor Swift family's paparazzi predicament in Australia. As we continue to unpack the implications and explore the aftermath, remember to respect the boundaries of public figures, for we are all entitled to privacy. Until next time, take care and stay tuned for more exciting updates on the celebrity